Hello and welcome, <coughs> Julie Cube from a Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm coming to you with another pour over a vase. I'm going to do a ring pour. I have three colours here left, plus some um, Montmartre pre-made pouring paints if I need to add some other colours. I will just explain as I go along but the preparation I was find, finding these vases um, at the charity shops like for two dollars or something and then you know embellishing them uh, to look something lovely I have done quite a few now I'll just grab a few things that I've done that are here drying I did this lovely one so it's all nice and dry now um, hope you can see it just put in um just coated it with the pouring resin and water mix i have another video on that if you're interested but yeah that's turned out just beautiful it looks like stone it really does then i did this one that i embellished with some um gold leaves on there so it's a bit blingy one so yeah that you can just turn something you know that's plain plain old jane into something you know beautiful beautiful so that's what i'm trying to do with this one now before i was spraying a sealer over my glass till many pourers said to me you don't actually have to do that just spray it with alcohol so this is the isopol ice isopropyl whatever you call it. it's alcohol i can't say it so i just spray it so you get all the finger marks your own finger marks off it actually i should put my gloves on so i don't get the oils getting the oil from your own skin um now i've, I've done lots of these pours of recently with the pre-made pouring paints because it was just so nice and easy and somebody has asked me can you use just acrylic paints the answer is yes because i did just acrylic paints over some vases that i didn't like last year before i started um actually doing videos on youtube and i poured over them and i just um used a spray varnish on them and they're just perfect i've got them in my house now with the colors that go with this particular house so if there's anything an item that you love the item but it, the color doesn't go with your decor at present then you can just change change the color to go with what you've got plus these these little treasures that you find in the charity shop or even in your um, cupboards that you haven't looked at for a while you can change into something you love or something that you can give as a gift because um, they're lovely gifts too so that's given a real good wipe with the alcohol. This particular little thing I found at the charity shop. How much was it? Five dollars. It's I think it's for your um, oh you you paper towel, I believe so. So it's got a swivel on it. So I just thought, oh, that's pretty perfect for holding something that I want to turn around while I pour well I can turn it from there and I haven't got to touch the vase the only thing being that it's lovely to pour and let the drips go on another canvas but if I sit it on another canvas it was too unstable <coughs> for this particular one so I'm not going to worry about that this time but that is an idea if you're pouring to yeah pour uh, put your Put your vase or whatever, push a cup, I think I pushed a cup into this one. The other one that I did, I pushed the cup like that and then stood the cup up like that onto the canvas. So you can, that's an, an easy way of then putting that sitting on your canvas so the excess paint goes onto your canvas and then you can do, uh, create a canvas that goes with your actually actual vase so these are pretty yucky colors that i've got here but <laughs> believe it or not i have a friend that wants these colors so this was gold i'll move this aside for one second 
This was gold mixed with burnt sienna. This is a really dark, dark navy, almost black. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna pour it down the side. I'm gonna just tip it in. Um, and then this is purple. So yeah, not very nice colors at all. Who am I to judge? Hope she doesn't watch this video. But these were the colors that she asked me to do. And I just think that it will turn to mud. And if it does, I will wash it off and try again. So she wanted that purple, black and gold. She wanted that. That's the gold with the sienna because I already had it. And I have got some gold from the Montmartre, which I, uh, I'm not going to put it in there actually yet. And then some more gold and burnt sienna. So she must, she must, I know that she's got the purple, black and gold color scheme going on. So she obviously has that in mind and I, that's it like I say, who am I to judge? But I'm not sure whether those colors will stick to this particular canvas. So we'll just, I'll see. I just want to make sure I get the, the lid in on the camera, the, the, the bottom of the, uh, the bottom of the can, uh, vase so you can see the nice ring that will hopefully come on the top but I'm not very confident about these colors at all so I'm gonna give them one stir give them with the purple I'm gonna give them one stir stirring Stanley and then I'm gonna ring pour the top So just in the ring, ring a ring of roses. So it always goes over one side before the, so that must be my surface is not even, but not too worried about it at this stage. There's nothing coming over this side, so I'll have to start pouring over here. I suppose when it's running all over the. Having said what I said about the color choice, it might turn out absolutely beautiful, but I'm just not holding my breath. It's very dark, but that's it then if you put some I think light goldy in the actual vase or even silver will go with these colours. Come on, you good thing. Need some more of that light colour to, I believe. Go away, fly! Go away! Oh my goodness. Flies always appear just when you don't want them to. Looks like a lot of paint wasted, but it was only one cup, so. And it would be good if it was going on to another canvas, I suppose. Oh, now it's the lightest. Ooh, yeah, baby. It's looking nice on this side. I hope it's looking nice on the side that you are. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's a lot of wasted paint, I know. Wowzers, trousers. I think that paint's very runny for that particular style maybe I should have done thicker paint 
I might run some of this gold in the cup now with purple only, gold and purple over the lot. So we'll see how. See how we go. So I'm just running the pre-made pouring paints from Montmart in with a bit of the purple. And then I will give you a stir as you do. Just a little bit, not to um Oh, the stick looks nice it's a lot of paint wasted I admit but that was pretty thin mix actually oh this purple and gold is just the bomb oh it's beautiful change the color all right she'll probably like the darker color better and I've gone and stuffed it up oh my gosh oh well doesn't like it I can I've got plenty of charity shop finds here and um, like my husband said that you know if you don't give them as gifts to somebody then take them back to the charity shop and let them resell them a, an original by a local artist then that's a really nice idea too oh I love that now I love it oh my gosh that is beautiful gone be gone those dark dreary colors oh that's stunning Yes, I completely wasted the dark, dreary colours at the bottom and I'm probably done the wrong thing because I've gone with what I believed was right. Well, not right, uh, believe that looks nicer and I love it. So I'm just running my finger around the lip. Oh, look at that that is a beauty and I didn't even think about the bottom of my I will move that and then I can just wash it off the bottom of my turnery thing but here you go here is the bars doing a 360 look at that that is a beauty I love it yeah this is not even so I love it it's lovely really lovely so I'm going to leave that to dry and let the paint just do its thing but that is a beauty I just love it love it love it love it and I've got some um, agapanthers in my garden that would look absolutely stunning in that vase so hopefully I will try and um, give you a photo at the end of it dry with my agapanthers in it it's lovely give it a go people it's easy it's a really easy beginners thing to do anyone can do it you do not have to be any kind of arty arty you know what i was going to say arty person um just give it a go it's so much fun so until tomorrow i am here every single day so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so i really appreciate it and i have lots of different comment content if you'd like to go to my youtube channel and have a look at all the different videos i've got something for everybody there beginners videos and um, all sorts uh, sealing your work videos everything pouring medium it's all there so until tomorrow people Bye for now, take care and create, give yourself some joy. Just bringing you back in because I dipped this little canvas in the runoff and it looked quite nice and I'm going to re-dip it again uh, with an added bit of paint on there to see what I get. So there's so much paint there. Ooh, look at that looky looky how nice does that go with the bars and then I can roll the edges round 
that's beautiful love it so i'm going to dip some more oh where 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 no i need to pop that down um i had a canvas here somewhere where's it gone oh geez louise i've lost the canvas that i had i'm going to re-dip another one I've got a little canvas here. I've got a little canvas, I'm going to dip it. If it doesn't turn out, I'll just scrape it. This little canvas I've used for some test, testing some paint, so I just want to see what it turns out like. Oh, I'll lift it. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! That's beautiful! Okay! <laughs> I just thought I'd get back to you guys with that because that was lovely. Alrighty. Alrighty. I'm done. I'm done. There'll be photos on at the end. I ended up pouring over this vase again because I don't know if it's the texture of the mix of the paints, mixing the acrylic with the pre-made paint didn't... Um, stick to it very well it, it sort of went in holes in places so i've just poured over it in this color because i had a friend that rethought the colors and she'd like the hot pink and i put hot pink gold hot pink gold and rose gold so this is what we've got now over that vase so this will stick because I've done it with all the same paints and they have every other vase I've done, I've done with those and it's worked brilliantly. So if I'm going to try a vase, which I have done uh, in the past just with the acrylic paints, I need to stick to just the acrylics because I don't know if it was the mix. Mixing the two together just didn't gel as well. Um, but yeah, you could kind of see not so good bits in it so this is what we've got now so this is my lovely vase and i do i really like this so i'm happy i'm happy jim so i'm gonna stick with this one so thank you so much for joining me i will put photos the dry photos on my acrylic art by jelly cube facebook page and um show you all because this will take probably another week or two weeks to dry real well um, maybe even three to four weeks before I put um, a varnish on it so thank you oh, there's my gecko saying yes 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 bye for now